for today's cup of coffee. We have a subject matter that's interesting and very large. If you let it be, we're not going to let it be. <laughs> <laughs> and this comes from Grunge, and I will include this link in the description box. Plus another one that is from Oxford Academic that, of course, is a little more scholarly. Uh-huh. Thus the Oxford Academic. Yes. And what they're proposing is, can humans smell fear? Sniff, sniff. <laughs> sniff, sniff. And, and the uh, article from Grunge is by Elizabeth... I can smell. Halvinka. I can smell. I can only smell out of one nostril. <laughs> and it was June 16th, 2022, and the article is entitled, Is it Possible to Smell Fear? And then from Oxford Academic, the research paper is Chemo Signals of Fear Enhanced Cognitive Performance in Humans. And that was by Denise Chen, a meta Cat Dare, and Nadia Lucas. No, I'm not going to go through the research paper. Lupus. Lucas. <laughs> And <laughs> grunge, the article started out good, and then it just kind of totally lost focus. Uh huh. So somebody not, went on a tangent and started somebody rambling. Somebody truly didn't want to really do all this. They Anyhow, just wanted to add fluff so they could get. <laughs> they just wanted to fill their quota. I, I think that's probably what it was, really. So I'm just <laughs> going to read limited portions of this. They also, as far as citing their sources, you can go to the article itself and get their sources uh -huh. uh, because I don't feel like advertising for mainstream media. Uh, anyhow, it says, historically, people assumed that humans relied mostly on language and sight to communicate with one another, and yet other animals... We're not animals, we're people. There's a distinction. Yeah. Rely much on olfactory and auditory cues rather than visionary and verbal ones. Dogs go nuts barking when a stranger approaches from up to 12 miles away. What? That's what it says. And uh, ear, their ears may perk up when a potential threat is even further away. Now, what sense is that? I that's, mean, I, instincts, I guess, but like, well, it's no, far I mean, away. yes, but that's just how sensitive, you know, that they are and we are not. It says that bloodhounds have the best sense of smell and can even track a scent for upwards of 130 miles. Ooh. I mean, that's just totally beyond our understanding on some of these things. And it says, of humans course, do not have that capability. No, of course, dogs have more sensory receptors in the nose and can pick up their ears towards sounds to greatly improve their hearing. But it makes one wonder, as fellow mammals, why would humans be any different? Because we're not dogs. Yeah, <laughs> that right there is the pretty much the bottom line. But it does explain, as far as that, the canine peoples that they do have different parts of their brain that are designed to pick up these things that people do not, the human peoples do not. It says in 2012, Dutch researchers set out to determine if humans, like dogs and other animals, well now Elizabeth, honey, if you want to identify with just being an animal, that, that on you, I, I like being a I people. I mean, in technicality, we are animals, but it's, we it's are, like different. We're completely separate from is, animals. Is a cat a fish? No. Right. Still an animal. <clears throat> Anyhow, in 2012, Dutch researchers set out to determine if humans, like dogs and other animals, could smell fear by collecting sweat from men's armpits who had just watched the horror That's movie. That's disgusting. Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. That's disgusting. And if you are that close that you can smell the fear, we step the fuck back. <laughs> it says, and then they collected sweat from men who had just watched Jackass. You nasty bastards. <laughs> You freaks! No, just, you fucking just freaks! Chill, chill. You just wanted to sniff! Chill. You just wanted to fucking sniff! You fucking freaks! Anyhow. You fetish freaks! It says, then they asked a group of women to smell both types of sweat and measured their eye movements in a visual test. 
and it says women had to do the smelling because they have been shown to have finer sense of smell linked to more brain cells. And it says Freaks. the women had much more eye movements, such as, you know, eyes open wider in fear when they smelled the scary movie scents whereas they tended to I mean, y'all scrunch just, y'all's eyes open wider anyway y'all just whereas they tended to scrunch their faces in disgust when they smelled the sweat from those that had watched jackass i don't know that that had anything to do with the the smell it was just an understanding that was an awareness <laughs> so within that and then they go on into uh, she sort of gets lost in other pheromone tests on this that have absolutely nothing to do with fear um, but that's the reason as far as the armpits it is a matter of pheromones and you know that's people's pheromones these are not things that most people are that aware of they know whether someone smells nice or whether they don't yeah and that there have been cologne and perfume companies that have made billions of dollars trying to uh you know change how someone smells but that is totally different than the actual pheromone of the person Mm. so well that's the thing the cologne or perfume is supposed to complement that. Mm-hmm. If it smells like straight up alcohol or bug spray to the person, it's not for you. Right. But that's still trying to cover up people's original smells. And we're not talking somebody that ain't had a bath in two and a half years. Now, that's a little something else going on there. But the, there's a lot of different uh, pheromones and chemicals that are released from the body according to whatever emotion they're going through. And, you know, as far as fear, yeah, I believe that you can definitely smell fear. That's one of those things that's, that you've heard people talk about that for a long time. But if you are that close to the person step the fuck back well you don't even have to be that close to somebody and and i'm i don't know whether you realize it or not a lot of times you can be around somebody that is uh you know afraid and there's almost like a sour smell to them Mm. so and that could be some kind of health issue or it could be the fact that they are perspiring more than normally you know, but do I believe that you can smell fear? I do. I think that there's other ways that people have to detect when others are afraid other than just odor. But we have to realize that we may smell something and respond to it before we even realize that we're responding to a smell. It could be that subtle. Most of the time it's just stink. That's why people wear perfumes and, <laughs> and deodorants. <laughs> You can enter a room and you can feel fear. Feel? That's different than smell. I don't want to smell jack shit. <laughs> I don't, don't want to smell anything. Smell, I don't want to smell jack shit either. <laughs> Anyhow, we're not talking about <laughs> uh-huh, that. We're talking about uh-huh, the smell. Uh-huh. Of fear. I don't want to smell anybody unless it's clean. Anyhow, stay focused. You this can is go focused. Run. This is focused. Oh my god, you didn't take your medication today, did you? I did. You didn't, you didn't. But as far as ways that people can perceive that others are afraid, and I think a lot of the things that we do when we assess someone else are subconscious and we don't even really know. It could be as far as body language, it could be as far as, you know, respiration, facial expressions. All kinds of things. Somebody doesn't have to be sitting in the corner in fetal position drooling for you to figure out that they're afraid. No. No. You know. But do do you believe that you can smell fear? Put deodorant on. 
spray some perfume or cologne on you. That is not. Douse yourself. It in doesn't it. Take matter. Take a fucking bath in I it. I don't care. There are some people that, and a lot of times, especially take like a bath in general. They can pick up on cues, and it goes into that predator versus prey mode. And so maybe they they do have. Th- well, they're lizard people, but anyhow, maybe they have another sense to them. Oh they're God. tasting the air. Like snakes, they are tasting the air around these people to know that they're afraid. It's true. Yes. So that's that's one of the ways. And people's like, the snake's more afraid of you. Well, it depends whether the snake's got two legs or no legs. But honestly, there are people, especially yeah. there are bullies, that they, and, and that, that is their purpose to cause others to fear. Yes. You know? Yes. And so there are ways to know whether or not they're successful. And somebody, it is a matter of how do you not transmit that you're afraid? You can be in a situation and be scared shitless, but not allow the fear to control you to keep you from doing what you need to do. Mm-hmm. That's called bravery. To yes. overcome the fear. Yes. So, they didn't do extensive studies as far as the smells of these things. But now, as far as the women being the ones that smell some of these things, oh yeah, they have, that's an old thing as far as that uh, the babies that they would take clothing mm. from different babies this and hand them child. hand them to you know the the mothers and the the mother they could identify the smell of their child they could pick out their child's clothing yeah. out of the others yeah even if it was the same exact clothing yeah oh yeah mm-hmm. because that's just how we're geared <laughs> yeah <laughs> or how we're and that's just like sometimes if someone I can smell that's my child i can smell it <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes that's my child somebody else claimed that diaper <laughs> um you don't get to do that very often you really don't Th- this is one of the things though if someone you may like someone but if there is something off trust that it's usually going to be some kind of biochemical or genetic, you know, it, it doesn't, not going to jive. So let it go. Yeah. Just let it go. Yeah. But as far as smelling fear, have you ever smelled fear? To me, like I said, I have smelled Does people that were like, afraid. <laughs> Does it look like? <laughs> no. No I, have, no, I have sensed it. In, in, I have felt it. You know, I have I had sure professions where I have had to deal with people who were afraid from various and sundry, you know, reasons. Could you smell it? Oh, yeah. You could smell yes. it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and even some of the ones with this false bravado that they acted like they were the, you know, going to be the bullies and stuff like that. You could smell the fact that they were afraid. And like I said, for me, it always had this, like a soured odor. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> uh, but that I don't inc- know. That includes even children when they're frightened and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I can barely smell as it is, so... <laughs> But now, it, when you get somebody in, especially if it's the first time that they had ever been arrested and they go into jail, yeah, they're going to have some, some fierce smell. <gasps> they have some aroma there. <laughs> they shit themselves. Well, that's a different aroma. <laughs> that is the yeah, aroma. That's a different aroma. That is the aroma that they have shit themselves. <laughs> that's when they go to court for the first time, I think, is what happens on that. I was basically shitting myself <laughs> the first time I went to court. I'm like, oh, God. Oh God, I'm fine. Yes, and what had you done? I just simply got a speeding ticket. Uh huh. That was it. 
That was, was enough. It. Did you learn? Like, oh, God. Did you learn? Oh, fuck that. Oh, wait. To put. Uh-huh. So you didn't learn? And it makes you wonder, as far as these judges and stuff, are, maybe that's one of the reasons that the benches are farther away and up higher, so that they don't have to <laughs> smell <laughs> the general put public. The, put the clear plastic thing over them, too. It's really. In front of them. Now, I tell you something. Those are some people that they do need some of those plastic barriers and bulletproof in front of them. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throwing a shoe they have she- shoes thrown at them <laughs> but I do wonder how many things that we are picking up on as far as other cues towards other people that are potentially olfactory and we're just not recognizing it Adam. because this is how my brain works <laughs> and it, it, the um Oxford academic, let me reach and pull that study because I didn't print that one up, (laughs) that they did acknowledge that um, the chemo signal, the chemical signal, was present. And it said that as far as some of the different tests that they had these people do, I think it was like certain words, that they were more accurate being able to respond to the question, but they were slower. So it's like the smell of the fear had an effect on their behavior and their actions, which is interesting. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking to read that book in the near future because it is a matter of, we know that fear sells. Yes. And we know it can be contagious. Yes. So. Fear mongering. That classic term. Well, it's fear porn is what it is on a lot of it. Um, fear mongering was yeah. the Oh, yeah. Term. Well, it's... And it makes you wonder what a great group study it would be for people in a theater. Can you imagine the lost opportunity for psychological study at the premiere of um, The Exorcist? That would have been amazing. Oh, that would have just been... That was such a lost opportunity. I have... You know what's funny? I watched one... The first time I watched that movie, I was not scared of it. It did not scare I was, me. Even the other times that I watched it, it did not scare me. The, the one that frightened me the most was when it was not censored in any way. And the blasphemy, that bothered me greatly. It well, bothered different. me greatly. Well, demons do what they do. I understand that. Not all of it was accurate, because, like, example, the spinning head, that's not possible. Well, no, but read the book. The book is phenomenal. Um, but, you know, the fact that people had the over-the-top reactions in the movie theater that they did, how much of that... Would they have responded in the same way had they been watching the movie by themselves versus being in a group? Don't know. Don't know. So you would have collective fear stink. (laughs) Fear funk. Fucking wear some deodorant, (laughs) cologne, perfume. Get you some of that fucking Axe body spray and douse yourself in it. (laughs) But even when they were talking about the bloodhounds, okay, this is a specific smell. And it's like, does the individual that the bloodhound could be chasing, are they going to produce more pheromones that are more pronounced and then the dog can pick up the scent easier? Well, no. These are questions I have. (laughs) <laughs> I do because again if, you, if you're you're going to have some fear going on if bloodhounds be after you if any kind of dogs be after you you're going to have some yeah and that's where you better hope that you've got some like bear spray or something yeah something like that but I thought that it was a very interesting topic uh-huh. Can you smell fear? What is it? And I do topic? believe that you can. I think there's many ways 
to sense it. I've never smelt anyone when they're scared, so I don't know. Because it was usually you. <laughs> you were the one. child. <laughs> I was the one that was scared. He was the child. Now it's rel- Now it's kind of hard to scare me. No, but in hell. With horror movies. It, well, that's like that. different. It's, there's it's different really circles. Yeah, there's different circumstances, and as you go through and find out that there are things in life a hell of a lot scarier than, you know, a jump scare. Yeah. So, so Kid says that he's not aware of the... But he also has allergies horribly. I do. And the, that, you can't smell 90% of the time either. Well, certain things I can. Uh, a lot of my sense is a lot more acute than yours on some of it. I think a lot Especially of it... Especially with sounds. I think a lot of it is where I smoke, and that does sort of deaden uh, your sense of smell, sense of taste, the which works together. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. So looking for people who may have answers out there yes. or other questions or other ponderings. <clears throat> If you happen to be a research scientist, this would be a good topic for you to get government fundings to go and study this. <laughs> get good at research. Yeah. The smell of fear. Mm, I can like the smell. <laughs> well, it, like I said, I think it's a, it's a good topic. I mean, and if you want to go into like aromatherapy, and this That's research cool. did go into some of that because different smells can trigger different emotions yeah and so why would we think that the smell of fear would not trigger other fear mm-hmm. it's like the lavender the lavender knocks my ass out everybody everybody's doing on this lavender kick I i'm not that much of a fan yeah, yeah. For, it depends for, if it's good lavender for kid, it was more vanilla. It's a very soothing. I like vanilla, but it has to be like a certain type of vanilla. Right. It can't be a too sweet of a, of a vanilla. Right. There is such thing as too sweet of a vanilla. So maybe we need to get some of the different essential oils. Fear. 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 Maybe it could be like, you know bear scent or something <laughs> deer, yeah slap not yourself deer scent. in fucking deer pee not deer scent my god that will run you out of the room for you all who may be in urban areas god and it you have never smelled it's dough spray bad. oh god it's just about uh-huh. as bad as cat pee well it's like this. it's not worse if somebody goes hunting and they have they have dough scent or whatever make them take you know change clothes outside or they may have, you know, if you come in the house, they may have a uh, smell of fear on them, especially if the wife is like, get your ass out, take that stuff off. You're not yeah. bringing that in the house. So. It's thundering. Is it thundering? Wonderful. That's a good way to end. If you've had, if you've had experiences with the paranormal, Never mind, supernatural. It's not something else. Encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids. Send us an email. Go get the dog. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, because if we've got dogs chasing our cats. Get your ass! (laughs) And I'm hoping that that dog is now filled with the uh, smell of fear. You all are loved. You're appreciated. And we'll see you on the next cut. Bye.